Welcome to my life on paper and welcome to Creating with Sketches. Um, it's a scrapbook process collaboration featuring sketches by Allison Davis. I will have that all linked below. Um, we are doing the one page sketch of number four and uh, we've been doing uh, the first day of every month starting in January. I am using Vicki Booten, um, mostly Sweet Rush papers, um, if not all Sweet Rush papers. Um, and, and this is kind of what I have left. This is kind of exciting. So I'm going to use, I can't show you the sketch because it is paid content. I'll have the stuff linked below. Um, and we're all using the same sketch, but uh, Allison does such a good job of showing how you can adapt the sketch for different size photos. So mine's are actually going to be bigger photos than what the, the original sketch calls for. And, um, and then using different themes and things. So uh, I'm going to go with these strips. They're all different colors. Um, they're all very bright. It's, it's exactly what I love. And I did have some strips that were cut down about one inch already. And I'm just going to make sure they're all about one inch. And then I will trim them down to the same size. Uh, the photos I am using today, um, I, I've mentioned this before, but in case you're new here, I, my friend Becky had me go on a trip with her. She won a trip um, and a truck and uh, was to see NASCAR race and we got to meet the driver. So um, this is when we were inside um, watching the race and um, I had a drink. And uh, so this is just a fun page um, to scrapbook. I will have listed down below everyone that is playing along as well as the links to, to get the sketchbook. And I this is a great sketch for, for if you have scraps, a lot of scraps. Um, it would be a good one for a monochromatic that I love to do. Um, but this I just have what I had on hand in this collection. And I'm using it and I'm, I'm using some of the stickers as well. I think the longest part of the whole process is trimming these down and getting them the same length where I'm counting to make sure I have enough. Um, and I want them to be kind of in the same um, vibrancy of color as well. Um, there's a lot of pinks. Um, I do get some purple in there. The one is a little bit more concentrated color, otherwise they're kind of... Uh, Kind of almost a watercolor effect um but yeah i don't have much left of this collection love the collection totally would buy it again <laughs> i don't think it's available but i would totally buy it again any of vicky Booten stuff i would totally buy again so here you can see the pictures a little bit you'll see them a little bit better um i don't use that butterfly paper instead use um this paper I to, to back my photos, I'll just trim this down and then I will get them adhered to the background and I'll get those strips here adhered down. I originally thought making it a smaller mat like it is on the sketch, but I, I like to show a little bit of that color, so I'm going to give it a little bit bigger of a mat. This is where I arrange my strips into kind of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet order. <laughs> kind of sneaky. Um, you wouldn't have to do it that way. Um, and I find this this tag in the collection. It says this was a, a this day was fabulous. That's perfect. And I'll just grab out different things from the collection um, to see my, what might fit with this layout. Um, I like this hello. It gives it a little bit of black. There is some black to uh, some of the that one paper for sure. So I'll get the hello in there. The title will be hello. This day was fabulous, which it was fabulous. We had a great time. I have never really watched NASCAR before, um, but it gives you a whole insight into the, all the workings of everything. It was pretty darn cool. So, Below I'll have a list of everyone that's playing along with this series of Creating with Sketches with Allison Davis. So I'll be watching for that because I can guarantee you that everyone will have a super different take on the sketch. This was a super quick layout for me. Um, I have sped it up and I've cut out a couple pieces because you don't need to watch me gluing things down, but um, I would totally do this again. And, and again, you can use any size photos. You could use four by six there. You could use smaller ones. You could use four two by twos or probably six two by twos. Um, but that's all part of the um, sketch sketches that are available by Scrapbook Generation. I glued Generation. that tag down with so my ATG adhesive. Sure and with the way that out. H is 
on there. Um, it's covered by tag hole, so I don't have to worry about that with any twine or anything. Um, this tag, this cut apart says making things happen, and so that is room for my journaling. We certainly did make things happen. Then I will go looking through my stickers to find the embellishments. Um, just making sure that I'm not missing anything because I hate to put a layout together and then think, darn, I wish I would have added this. This pink arrow that I add says my favorite and the drink is a um, Crown Royal and 7-Up. Um, I actually prefer Crown Royal Apple, but that's okay if they don't have it. Um, I'll take Crown Royal. So that is my favorite. So I like that there. And then I... I'm going to use a one of these flowers in each one of my clusters that I'm going to create. And then I will fuss around with these flowers for a little bit. I don't have a lot left. I've used a lot of like embellishments and stickers from this collection. Um, so I'm down to the last couple florals. I have some um, hearts that I will not use on this layout, but I end up using in the future as well. So I'll tuck this flower under the arrow there and then work on the other clusters with the start with the florals. I know that I want this as my journaling block so I will get that adhered down with my ATG adhesive and this little yellow um, bit says enjoy so it's enjoy making things happen which I thought was cute and I'm going to use the rest of the stars off the sticker sheet as well as adding leaves to each of the florals. And while I do that, I am very excited to announce that I am doing a new series. Um, I'm going to do it on Thursdays. I, I'm going to start off trying to do every Thursday, but it's going to call, be called uh, Throwback Thursday, where I take one of my layouts that I've done in years past and use it as an inspiration to scrapbook a new layout, um, doing a different twist on it. So be watching for that. And that's going to be starting up in April, which it is very soon, like to today. <laughs> um, okay, so then there's the stars, but I also, I totally forgot about this, I also get some of the uh, hearts on there as well. So I'll sneak some hearts in there, and I think I even get, oh, a couple people pieces of these candies. I, it's kind of random, but it goes with this happy, brightly colored layout. So I've got these, and there's a little bit of like gold foiling on there as well, and, and that's why I take this one um, heart that's a gold like foil as well and I'll get on get that on there so two hearts in that cluster I must have ran out of stars and that's why I'm adding some hearts okay so here is this was from close to my heart it was kind of like a giveaway prize and it's it's kind of like nouveau drops but it's not and I shook it up and then I started them and they started okay and then they started getting that greasy outer ring so I shook it up again and I'm trying it off the side and it, it looks like it's working and then it's not working. So I gave up and I found, I have a pink Nouveau drop, which, so I really, that's what I wanted in the first place, but I couldn't find it. So it is called Crystal Drops Gloss Red Berry. And that's what I end up finishing up with. And I just put some extra all the way, all the way around kind of in each cluster. Um, yeah, to kind of hopefully divert your eye from the little, disaster that's going off in the bottom right corner there. <laughs> the last thing I will do is find a random tab on my layout on my table next to the layout and I'll want to use that just because the colors uh, go so well with it. So this tab says the story, which I thought was really good too. So, and that is it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a fabulous day and please come back and see me again soon.